I am one with my glorious I am presence. And Holy Christ Self, my personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. And I am fully contained within my heart diamond and Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready for today's message. Greetings, beloveds. I am delighted that Christmas is once again making herself available to be able to do these videos, which I send out to you with infinite blessings of love and light and joy to inspire you, encourage you, inform you, and energize you to do everything it takes in order to obtain your heart's greatest desires. Most of you growing up on this planet have been filled with false desires. The media and advertising agencies are fantastic at creating needs for things for which there is no need whatsoever. They make you want things that have nothing to do with your joy, with your wisdom, or with your love. They are simply designed to run the machine of consummation so that you are continually working in order to continually buy more. But these are not your heart's deepest desires, beloveds. And that is why these times of sharing, when we come together, I help you to remember your own inner truth, your heart's deepest desires have nothing to do with the material realm. Other than what I might call an overall desire for general health and well-being and comfort in the material world. But once these basic necessities have been fulfilled, your heart wants to reconnect with its source. Your heart knows where it comes from and it wants to be reconnected through your conscious awareness back into that great collective consciousness known as God. Your heart wishes everyone to be healthy and happy because your heart knows that it is not separated from any other human being or for that matter any other sentient being on this planet. That includes all animal, plant, and mineral life, because everything is consciousness, beloveds. Your heart knows this. But many of you have closed down your hearts due to unbearable pain that you have experienced, whether it was in this lifetime or another. 
you thought it would be easier not to feel anything at all than to feel the pain, which seemed overwhelming at times. Please, beloved snow, that this pain must be faced at some point, acknowledged, and even welcomed for the lessons and wisdom it brought you. And then you can make the choice to open your heart again. to realize that just because it was broken in the past does not mean it will be broken again. A heart that is closed is a dying heart, beloveds. It can only live when it returns to its source a heart that has been closed off, shut down, is just like a fish out of water. A fish will die very shortly after being removed from the water as it cannot exist without that connection. Nor can your heart thrive without the divine connection. This is why there are so many broken, unhappy people on the planet at this time. Events in their past caused them to shut down. It was a coping mechanism that allowed them to continue to live. But living without the connection to your feeling body is not a life at all, beloveds. It is the life of a robot. It is the life of a person that is totally dominated by the mind or by the body. And it is certainly a life out of balance. So please, beloveds, do whatever it takes to heal those hurts from the past so that you can open your heart again to love, to joy, and to pain and despair, because that is part of life on this planet at this time. But you are bigger than that pain. You are stronger than that despair. But they cannot be rejected. They must be integrated. And then they will be transmuted and they will become part of the rising frequencies of your energy fields. Healing the past is always the first step. And healing your emotional body is one of the very most important things that you can work on healing. For when your emotional body is healed, it will have an automatic influence on all of your other bodies. Please remember that all illnesses, all seeming accidents, all problems in your world 
are usually caused by disturbances in the emotional and mental bodies. And the mental disturbances genu generally originate in the emotional body as well. So it is the emotional body that it is most important for you to work on. The heart diamond is an excellent tool for working on your emotional body. It will help to, ride, to raise the entire frequency of your being. But whether you have received your heart diamond or not, it is important to do any techniques that you have at your disposal for purifying your heart chakra, purifying your emotional body, and allowing yourself to feel love, to feel joy, to remind your mental body that all that is happening to you right now is divinely designed to bring you home, to lead you to your ascension, to your wholeness. It will help if you are working on yourselves continuously, beloveds. And by that I mean, when you are connected with your I Am Presence, you genuinely become the blissful observer. This allows you to watch your thoughts even while you are experiencing them and even while you are engaged in activities. It is of course easier when you are meditating, but it is important to learn how to do this throughout your day so that you can become instantaneously aware when you are engaging in negativity, when you are disconnected from your divine self, and when you are engaging in any thoughts, feelings, or activities that are not in alignment with your divine self. So take a deep breath, beloveds. Feel your I am presence within you. And then as you go about the rest of your day, Simply be vigilant, watch your thoughts, watch your feelings. Don't judge them. Realize they are simply part of the flow of energy that is taking place around you. And lift your consciousness into the feeling part of your I am presence that is always in joy and always in love. Replacing those negative feelings with the divine emanations of your true self is not the same as suppressing or rejecting or judging those feelings. But it is a powerful ability that is granted you as a master of your own life to create your own reality. So remember to do this, my beloved masterful children. You will be glad that you did. I thank you for listening. I love and bless you always. And I remind you to be as connected to your own I am presence at all times as much as you possibly can. I am Metatron, Lord of the Universe.